Hi guys, today my students and I learned about the five senses in the human body. These five senses are taste, smell, feeling, oh, smell, feeling, eyesight, and hearing. These five senses all help us understand our world a little bit better. So let's see some examples for each of the five senses. Taste is the feeling or the sense that you get when you eat or drink something. For example, if you are eating a slice of cake, you might, you will most likely feel a very sweet and decadent taste in your mouth. But if you were eating a lemon, you would taste something more sour. In taste, there are some main profiles, um, such as sweetness, sweet, salty, sour, and a mix of all three. And taste is controlled by your taste buds, which lie in your tongue. Now, the next taste, the next sense is smell. Smell uh, comes from glands that are in your nose, and they help you smell things. For example, if you smelled garbage, you'd be using your nose and one of your five senses, the sense of smell. Um, smell can help differentiate between things that are good and things that are bad. For example, one of the first things you notice when you see food is how it smells. If food smells bad, you might not be very attracted to it and you might not want to eat it. If you smell two things that looked identical, maybe two pieces of chocolate cake, the one that smelled sweeter, more like chocolate, would probably be the one you would go for. The next sense is feeling. Feeling is situated in your skin and the glands all around your body. You can feel things all over your body, from your hands to your face to all over, to your feet even. So feeling is very important because it allows us to figure out the texture, the density, and the density and the hardness or how soft or hard an object is. For example, if you saw a rock, you would most likely know that it's a rock and not just a mound of black dough because you feel it. You know that dough is squishy. And if you felt dough or Play-Doh or anything that has the same texture, you know that it would mold in your hand. However, a rock would be hard smooth and smooth to the touch next the next sense is eyesight eyesight is definitely one of the senses that we use most in our everyday lives and they're situated in your eyes and it's how you see things i don't really have to give an example for this you're watching this video and you're looking at the word eyesight you're looking at all these words and you're looking at my computer screen you're looking at your computer screen you use your eyes every day and that's why eyesight is so important. When people are robbed of their eyesight, it is called blindness. That person is blind. The last sense we're going to look at today, the last of the five senses, is the sense of hearing. Hearing is, hearing. the sense of hearing comes from your ears, and it's how you interpret sounds and noises. You are using your sense of hearing right now. By listening to me talk, your hearing, your ears, help you understand it. You get your ears send signals to your brain and your brain interprets what you are hearing if the sig if your ear did not send signals to your brain your brain would not be able to make sense of what i'm saying now this whole process takes much less than a second and that's why you're able to hear understand and learn what i'm saying so quickly using your ears and your brain all these senses work together with your brain and your body in order to give you a well-rounded experience of the world. When humans came into existence, these senses started off to protect us, even though they are still there to protect us. In this day and age, they also provide us with a chance to really see and experience the world in a way that we would want to experience it. Thank you. Bye.